Hello everyone, my name is Ross. I'm a uh, pipe drive expert based in Australia. Um, and today I'm gonna to explain to you the difference between a Leeds inbox and a deal. Now, essentially a Leeds inbox is, um, it's designed for more volume really is the best way to look at it. Um, when I click on this example here with Leeds, we can essentially just quickly spring between them. We can basically schedule activities, call activities, which are gonna be the most predominant. Um, very quickly just by hitting certain buttons and creating those activities almost immediately. Um, <clears throat> the idea behind a lead, um, and, and I think the best use case for a lead is to pre-qualify people. So if you're doing a Facebook ads campaign and let's say you're getting you know, hundreds of leads a month or any sort of um, advertising sort of uh, process, essentially what you can do here is filter through them, you know, filter out the ones that you know are uncontactable, have the incorrect phone numbers, you know, all that sort of stuff, which you know, let's be honest, it's quite a common thing these days, particularly with Facebook lead ads, um, where, you know, old outdated profile phone numbers and things like that are very, very common. So what you could do here is essentially um, automatically filter in your leads um, from, say, uh, Facebook, for example, or, you know, landing pages, anything like that, into the lead section of Pipedrive filter through them and essentially pre-qualify them. Now, anything that pre-qualifies, we simply hit this button here to convert to a deal and that would go to your your main um, deal pipeline. Now, that is best for, you know, people that you are working that are, you know, semi-qualified or interested in your products or services. Um, that is a good place to put them to avoid clogging up your pipeline and having it with hundreds and hundreds of deals. There's obviously restrictions on certain plans within Pipedrive where you can only have so many open deals at a time. Um, this is something that we're now seeing to sort of have an effect. That's been introduced probably a year or two ago now. Um, you know, bigger like solar companies and, and high volume companies are, are actually running into that issue. So Leads Inbox is a really good way to, I guess, distinguish between good and bad and then move on through your process. Um, if the lead is no good and uncontactable, you literally archive it. All the contact details and everything like that are still going to remain in Pipedrive. Nothing's deleted. Um, it's just going to put it out of the way. Uh, you could go back later on and filter those back out and try again if you like. Um, you could set activities to call them, try them again in a month. Um, you can do whatever you like, but this process here is really, really good for quickly contacting people, working out whether they're interested or not, and filtering off in the, in the right direction. So something I do, I do recommend if you do have high volume, you should adapt this process. Um, simply, I'd make a call to you know John Smith here, and then I would uh, schedule another activity for him. I'd leave any notes or anything like that quickly up the top here, shoot him an email with an email template, for example, um, and then I would basically hit the next button or the shortcut J will take me down to the next uh, lead sitting in the inbox. So a really good way. Um, in this scenario, we're gonna pretend that uh, he was contactable. Here it will pop up the deal information. Now, if you ask for different information or we'll have custom field showing in here, this is why this section will pop up again so you can fill that out. Um, that's a typical deal input information. I'm gonna hit save on that. And we're gonna land straight into the pot drive uh, deal view and away we would go. We would go about our, our handling the deal as normal. So uh, the, the big distinguishing factor between them is the leads inbox is really uh, designed around uh, speed and I guess filtration, uh, whereas the deal is something that you should be working on. You know, short term, long term, doesn't really matter. Um, it just has more, more adaptable, more flexible, um, a lot more options and things like that. So that's the main uh, points of difference between a leads and a deal inbox is essentially just that filtration. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you've got any questions, drop a comment below. Happy to help.